Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Robert Jennings, the Director of Public Affairs for the Ohio Department of Health. I'd like to welcome all of you to today's briefing, which is intended to update you on the Ohio Department of Health's activities regarding the outbreak of the influenza A, H1N1 virus in the United States and 10 other countries. Today's briefing will begin with a situational overview and update by Dr. Alton Jackson, the Director of the Ohio Department of Health, and he will be followed by Barbara Bradley, our Bureau of Infectious Disease Prevention and Control Chief. Barb will give an overview of the investigation process, and she will also explain what is meant by suspected and probable cases. Following Barb is Dr. Mary DiOrio, our Assistant State Epidemiologist, and she will get into more detail about what we know about the H1N1 virus. We will then conclude with questions and answers session, which will be fielded by our subject matter experts who are here today with us. But before uh, we begin, I'd like to also thank uh, Director Guzman, Ohio Public Safety, Director Dragani, uh, Emergency Management Agency for joining us here today. So, uh, with that, I'll be followed by Dr. Dev. Good evening, good afternoon. It's been a busy week at the Ohio Department of Health. Today, Friday, May 1, the Ohio Department of Health, ODH, continues to report one case of influenza A, H1N1 virus, also known as swine flu, in Lorain County. We also have two probable cases in Franklin County, one probable case in Holmes County, and one probable case in Porches County. We will provide more information on those cases later in the briefing. In the past five days, ODH and the local partners and others around the state have accomplished a lot. The strategic national stockpile materials have arrived in Ohio. Among those assets are medicines and personal protective equipment. We are working with our state and local partners on staging and distribution. Our disease trackers or our epidemiologists are working with federal and local health officials to identify and investigate possible cases of H1N1 virus. Our information line has filled more than 1,000 calls from Ohio. We have a Spanish-speaking operator available, and we have reached out to the Spanish language community. Our information line number is 1-866-800-1401. And at this time, it is staffed Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Our laboratory has been very busy testing 109 samples to confirm possible influenza A, H1N1, and send probable samples to the Centers for Disease Control for confirmation. This is what ODH has been doing, but what we also need is the public's help. We want to remind everyone to wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. That simple action, washing your hands, remains critical to slowing the spread of illness in Ohio. It is unknown at this time how widespread this virus may become. That's why we don't want Ohioans to think that if they don't have suspect cases in their area, that it's not important to continue frequent hand washing and other preventative measures. I'll say it again, please wash your hands. And also remember, stay away from sick people as much as you can. 
If you are sick and develop warning signs indicating more serious illness, go to a health provider immediately. Don't wait. If you are sick, stay home from work or school. Cover your nose and mouth with a tissue when you cough or sneeze, and then throw the tissue away in the trash. If you don't have a tissue, cough or sneeze into your elbow. Try not to touch your eyes, nose, or mouth as germs are often spread this way. And now, a message for my Spanish-speaking friends. Es importante que todos estemos juntos en nuestros esfuerzos. Protejase y sus familiares. Lávase sus manos. Tápase sus tos y estornudos con un papel higiénico. Y llame a 1-866-866. 8-0-0-1-4-0-4. Y otra vez. Y llame a 1-8-6-6-8-0-0-1-4-0-4. Tenemos operadores que hablan español para responder a sus preguntas. Y gracias. Thank you very much, and at this time I would like to turn it over to Barb Bradley, 